When a worm infects a new system, its first move is to begin seeking more systems to infect, usually by exploring the infected system and its network connections. A worm usually uses ordinary networking protocols to explore its local network and spread once it discovers potential victim systems. Vulnerable systems, systems running older, unpatched software that is vulnerable to the attack, will likely be infected. Not all systems will be vulnerable. Some worms are operating system dependent and will only infect Windows or Apple or Linux systems. Worms may also be thwarted when attempting to infect systems that are running up-to-date, fully patched software. The worm will continue to attempt to spread when an infected system is connected to more than one network or when that system connects to a new network, further spreading the infection. Once connected to another network, the process begins again. A worm can quickly spread to many systems across many different networks, especially if it exploits a widespread vulnerability. Once a worm is detected, it must be removed, and in the worst case, the system may need to be re-imaged. It's much better to avoid infection in the first place by staying up to date with system software and patches, disabling unneeded network protocols, and effective cybersecurity system hygiene.